Hi, this is a quick video to show you how you can clear up glitches in your normal maps. I would say this is an intermediate to advanced tutorial. Do check out my website gabbit.co.uk for courses from beginner to advanced updated regularly. So here's my elephant and I'm nice and pleased with my elephant. If I come out of rendered mode you can see that there's a complex normal map that I have baked from a high poly mesh. Now here's my high poly mesh and you can see where they overlap there are a couple of issues so I haven't got right to the edge but it's a very thin layer so it's quite tricky to do that and that means I get glitches on my normal map. So let's go back to the render and you can see there there's a horrible glitch where they overlap and there's another one in his ear there. Now if I take a look at my normal map it looks great apart from those areas. If I go into edit mode I can just select the areas and then turn this button on here and that will show me the areas I have selected, they're highlighted there and you can see there's a glitch along here. Anything that's kind of brown looking like this is a glitch so there's another little one there and there's probably one on the other ear which is there as well. Let's come out of edit mode. If you've got loads of brown on your image you'll need to work out what's going wrong in terms of your bake but in this case there are only minor glitches so I can go into Photoshop or a similar program and clean them up. You can of course do this in Blender using painting, but I just prefer to do it in Photoshop, it's a little bit easier. So into Photoshop, here's my normal map, and the glitches are in the green. Let's zoom into this area here. I've started cleaning up here, and I just get my clone stamp tool, grab an area, and make it similar to that. Alt left click to select an area to clone, and then just paint normally. You may need to affect the flow or the opacity of your brush just to make sure it blends in nicely. So there's that, a rough tidy up. Let's save this. Always remember to save it as something new so don't write over your old one. Let's go back into Blender, find my texture and there we go. Of course I've still got to sort out my cavity map but I can do the same process for that. And it looks like I've got to sort out the ambient occlusion as well. So here it is, all finished and tidied up, so you can quickly sort out tiny glitches like this, either within Blender, or you can take it into a program like Photoshop or GIMP. Hope that helped.